Welcome to Professional Development for Write One, a program designed specifically for first grade writers. Write One includes three components a student handbook, a grammar skills book, and a free online teacher's guide. Let's look at the student handbook. This is Write One. It has five major sections the process of writing in purple, the forms of writing in blue, the tools of learning in green, the proofreader's guide in gold, and the student almanac in red. The purple process of writing section introduces first graders to writing. They learn the steps in the process, plan, write, revise, check, and publish. The blue forms of writing section teaches the major modes, personal, subject, research, and creative. Within each major mode, students will write many forms, such as writing about others, writing a description, or how-to writing. The green tools of learning teach the study skills that students need, listening and speaking, reading, and word study. The gold proofreader's guide teaches the rules of writing for sentences, capitals, plurals, punctuation, grammar, and usage. The Red Student Almanac includes lists, maps, and theme words. Students practice their handwriting, using a computer, using maps, working with math, and using theme words. Here is the beginning of the Purple Process of Writing section. Students meet Luke, Rosa, Ben, and Jenny, who are first grade writers. The first three know what they want to write about but Jenny wonders, what can I write? Luke writes about his dogs, but Jenny still wonders, what can I write? Rosa writes a poem about fishing, but Jenny still wonders, what can I write? Ben wrote a silly note, and suddenly Jenny had an idea. This little story introduces students to the ideas of being writers, of supporting each other, and of sharing about their lives. Here in the blue section, we see one of the forms, writing about others. This is a paragraph about Silly Nick, and students might write about a special friend, a relative, a funny neighbor, a famous person, or even a babysitter. Here is another form, writing a description. One student wrote about her new car and about her grandmother. Here in the green section, we learn about reading to understand that if we think before reading, look and predict, and think during reading, try and check, and think after reading, tell and ask, that we'll get much more out of what we read. This page spread helps students read new words, sounding them out, and understanding how they're related to other words they know. These two pages present consonant blends, and consonant diagraphs. The Gold Proofreader's Guide contains the rules of language. Students read a rule and see an example for all sorts of sentences. They learn when to use capital letters and how to make plurals. They learn about using punctuation. Here in the Red Student Almanac pages, we find all sorts of supports for students to learn. There are pages that help them practice their handwriting. Other pages help with math. The end of the almanac includes all sorts of theme words. This page spread talks about the five senses. Now let's take a look at the skills book. This skills book has pages for students to practice everything they learn in their handbook. Here students trace sentences and then use sentence starters to write their own sentences. These pages talk about telling sentences. These pages teach plurals and more plurals. Here students write about others. They draw a picture and then have space to create their own paragraph about someone. Here students write a description. They draw a picture and then use sensory details to describe it. 
The skills book also includes many pages that allow a student to have a personal word dictionary. These are the A pages, ready for more drawings and more words. Here are the B pages. Now let's take a look at the free online teacher's guide. You can get to it by going to k12.thoughtfullearning.com and clicking on Teacher's Guides. This page includes all the teacher's guides for the Thoughtful Learning Handbooks. You can watch a video to get started. Getting started with your free online teacher's guide. If you are working with one of Thoughtful Learning's student writing handbooks, you may have noticed that there is a free online teacher's guide. Then scroll down to find your teacher's guide. Write one. The teacher's guide includes sequencing assignments, a year-long timetable, getting started activities, a chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide to the student handbook, assessing student writing, research basis, and activities and handouts. Let's look at the year-long timetable. This suggested year-long timetable presents one possible sequence of writing and language skill units based on a five days per week class. In week one, we might want to start with some getting started activities. This page includes five getting started activities. If we click on one, it will open a PDF that we can share with our students. Any activity with specific answers also includes a download that shows the answers. Let's go back to the year long timetable. After doing getting started activities, we might want to do Jenny Writes. Remember these pages? This shows the first page of the chapter, provides a startup activity, an enrichment activity, and a think about it quotation. It also shows the state standards that are covered by the chapter. Then we receive a lesson plan for how to teach this material from pages 12 to 21. You can see lots of downloads that you can distribute to your students, all gathered here at the bottom of the page, as well as more state standards. Along with Jenny Writes, we're going to have students begin writing sentences with page 126 from the proofreader's guide. Then they will do the writing sentences activities from the skills book. In week two, we will cover qualities of writing. Once again, we have the chapter by chapter guide with the first page of the chapter, startup activity, enrichment activity, think about it quotation, state standards, and a lesson plan with lots of downloads. We continue our work with sentences in the proofreader's guide and in the skills book. Let's go back to the table of contents so we've seen the year-long timetable, the getting started activities, and the chapter-by-chapter -chapter guide to the student handbook. Let's take a look at assessing student writing. This section covers student self-assessment, the qualities of writing, how you can assess student writing, using writing portfolios, and frequently asked questions about assessment. All right, let's look at activities and handouts. This page simply brings together all of the downloads that are available to you in the teacher's guide. So how can you remember everything that you've just learned? If you go to the teacher's guide page and go down to write one teacher's guide, you'll see that there is a program sheet that you can download. The first page of the program sheet reviews the three parts of the program, the write one student handbook, the Write One Free Online Teacher's Guide, and the Write One Skills Book. The second page provides a simple four-step strategy for getting started with the program. Step one, step two, step three, and step four. Thank you for joining us for this professional development of Write One. We hope this program helps you teach writing and helps your students see themselves as writers.